Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be trying out the Flashback Arturo Vidal card. Um, really cheap SBC to do right now, so if you guys are not too crazy about the full meta, which to be honest, in this game, in this year's game, you kind of have to be, if you're not a full meta, just absolute maniac, you are pretty much putting yourself at a disadvantage in this game, but... With Flashback Arturo Vidal's card, we do have a baby meta card. He's a baby meta for nowadays because, you know, at this point in FIFA, you gotta have the God Squad players to be able to perform to the best of your ability, right? Uh, but, with Flashback Arturo Vidal, uh, let's take a look at the card. Let's see all the specifics with it, see what could, couldn't work with it, right? We got a four-star weak foot, which is a fantastic start for a midfielder. It doesn't necessarily have to have the skill moves, the skill moves... Uh, is an extra bonus when you have it, right? 5'11 height, medium, medium work rates is also very, very solid. So we're off to a really good start here, right? Base card stats, he's already at 80 pace. So right off the bat as a midfielder, you got to give him a shadow, right? Uh, if you use him as a center mid, I would give him a shadow because it's just important. And if you use him as a CDM, I would also give him a shadow. Um, if your gameplay is going to be really bad... You know, the agility and balance is going to screw you over a little bit. He's not going to be like that quick on the ball to be able to maneuver past, uh, past people quickly. Uh, that's why recently Nick was uh, was using uh, Team of the Year Conte and Hullet in his team, just because those guys are going to be able to do that type of stuff for you in the game, regardless of what the gameplay is going to be like, right? So as you can see, I gave him a shadow card, plus 15 acceleration, plus 10 sprint speed, uh, and then a bunch of defensive stat boosts because he already has pretty good physical stat boosts, so nothing too crazy to go with there. So uh, shadow is the only card that you can give him nowadays uh, for the meta. Don't give him an engine because he's not going to be enough pace to catch up, to catch up and to uh, drop back uh, whenever you need him to be there. Right? The way that the team was lined up, uh, lined up for. This review, we're probably just going to play one game because it literally just takes one game, two games to really see what a player is like in game. Uh, we use the 4 2 3 1, same typical stuff that you guys see here balance on the offense, draw back on the defense, blah, blah, blah. Instructions are set to stay back while attacking for the fullbacks, uh, stay back while attacking cover center for the CDMs, come back on defense for all three of the cams, and then the striker is on balance. Probably going to tell them to come back too because it's just really, really effective in this year's game. And the other variation that we have him in is in the 4-1-2-1-2. So the 4-1-2-1-2, you can see that he is going to be playing um he's going to be playing as the left center mid. Oh, actually with the way that this team is lined up right now. Oh, this is a tricky one actually. If I actually lined up up in a 4-1-2-1-2 with only these players. Uh Hmm. That's a tricky situation, actually. Ha! <laughs> That's a super tricky situation. Kind of like looking at the team right now. I'm just like, would I really change anybody? Uh, it's not... This isn't the type of team that you can, like, rotate really well with. I think Nick's, like, original team. You definitely could. Um... I'm only doing this for the review, obviously, so this wouldn't be a team that I would actually use in general because you need teams that you can rotate to whatever formation you need them to rotate to. Uh, his is July. So the way that his team is set up uh, is with Messi, Conte, De Bruyne, Hullet. So if you could see this team right here. You can already start this off with a 4-2-3-1 because De Bruyne is a really, really good center mid, but he's also a really, really good um, cam as well. It's funny how Nick increases the dribbling as much as possible to get responsive gameplay as much as possible right even though he doesn't have the pace he wants these guys to be able to move really really quickly to counter the bad gameplay so that's pretty much it in regards to what the team looks like we're gonna get into a game see how vidal plays the two things that i would look into in regards to getting the card and how he's going to play is going to only be his off the ball positioning and his agility and balance, whether it bothers you. So agility and balance really, really depends on gameplay. If your gameplay is bad at 80 agility, I think it's like 80 agility, 81 balance. 80 agility, 81 balance, it won't really be that great. You're going to notice that he's going to be really, really slow on the dribbles. It's going to annoy you sometimes. Uh, but in good gameplay, he'll be more usable. But it'll still be noticeable from time to time uh, in regards to being able to do all those little quick cuts that you need to be able to do um, in this game. So... Those are the two things, right? These are the types of things you have to look at before you even get a card, look at a card, blah, blah, right? So it's the agility and balance and off the ball movement, maybe. Because off the ball movement, you can have like 99 attacking positioning or defensive positioning or whatever it is or marking and it could still be really terrible for your own liking, right? So those are the two things I would look forward to. We're going to do the review at the end of the game that we play. And uh, yeah, let's get started.
All right, so the first team that we come up against here is a full meta team. We got Azebu, Mbappe, Mateus, Hullet, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Desai, Blee, Blue, Blee, Blue, Blah. Um, all right, let's get it going. Uh, the game just froze. Okay, it just disconnected me. Um, that's been an issue in Division Rivals recently. I'm not sure if he's disconnecting if he thinks I'm Nick. Or if that's just a thing. Because I was streaming earlier too and it was doing the exact same thing. So uh, I'm not really sure actually. Okay guys, we found a game. Let's see who we come up against here. So we come up against... Okay. A little different actually. A little different. This guy actually uses Van Dyke as a center back to avoid the uh, far post crosses as much as possible, which is interesting. They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Oh, Ether Millie Town, baby. Ether Millie Town, baby. Best center back of all time. Being closed out. Conte. Ronaldo. It's with De Jong. Neymar. Oh, brilliant pass there. What a chance for Messi. Messi with the quick dribble dribbles. Little circles with him. Neymar. I think he saw the look from the other player. Aguero. Aguero. Oh, his AI just brilliant saved his defense. life right there. It. It his goal. AI just saved his life, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and use manual goalkeeping too, man. God damn it. Mbappe. Lala. Arturo Vida. Aguero. Slip through by Aguero. And now Messi. Oh, well done, Vidal. Good little interception right there, actually. Dembe Pass it down, use that space. Neymar. Well done, Jole, my boy. Pass. Oh, work the space. Allison being composed like he is in real life, to be honest. Oh, good little pass there to Mbappe. That's a hundred percent a foul. That will be a free kick. So far, Vidal is Vidal's positioning is not too bad. He's kind of like, to be honest with you, he's kind of disappeared amongst the pitch. Uh, or uh, in the on the pitch, he's not really like a noticeable presence right now. I think when he first came out, uh, he was a better card, for sure, because of the meta back then. Um, but not necessarily for end game, right? Because this game revolves around completely around competitive FIFA. Um, people should have better teams by now. People consistently played, um, so they shouldn't really use Vidal in that regard. But is he? I call him like baby meta right now. That's what I would. Uh, that's what I would give the Vidal card. Oh, that's actually a brilliant pass, though. That's a brilliant pass of Vidal right there. Working the space, I like it. Oh, that's a brilliant run right there with Ronaldo. Near post shot. Ah, I thought I had him there. Oh, dude, Militao is, is like... I know I keep talking about this card, but he's just so incredible in this game, man. He's just unbelievable, man. Not a bad effort there by Vidal. Not a bad effort. Ah, uh, he's trying to go for that flick of volley. The nub. Ronaldo. Oh, that is an unfortunate. <laughs> that is one hell of a deflection right there. Holy crap. <laughs> Even 19, ladies and gentlemen. Defend really well, so get fucked. Oh, that's just completely wrong. You could check my controller on that one. We still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Neymar. Oh, his AI just saved him again. Ah! 
Near pulls corner though, and I still miss. Oh my goodness. Just waste some time at this point. Uh, unlucky loss. That's how it is though, in this game. So after that game of playing with Flashback Vidal, like I said guys, it really only takes like one game. The gameplay was pretty solid actually. Uh, the game itself just fucking sucks, you know. But the gameplay itself was good, so it was an actual good test of Vidal. He's usable guys, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts to it. He's definitely a very usable card. Um, the only two things that I noticed with this card uh, that can present to be a problem from time to time um, is his agility and balance. It's not as quick as it probably should be, in all honesty. Uh, or not as it should be, it's it's not as it should be because his agility and balance is not that high. Obviously, he is 5'11", but the thing is that in FIFA nowadays, you really, really need that high agility and balance uh, to be able to maneuver uh, quickly around the pitch, right? But I actually really enjoyed using the card for what it was. Um, in, a fun, in a fun concept, I would actually use this card in my team. It'd kind of be fun to use him with Sergio Busquets because I think Sergio Busquets is also a medium-medium work-rated player. Um... And Busquets is, is, a, is, a, is a right footed player with a three star weak foot. So it would actually be really fun to use Busquets and Vidal as the two CDMs. But you never really see that being used in FIFA nowadays, right? But uh, an unfortunate loss. But uh, Vidal, I think, is an actual pretty solid card. Um, he's not too bad. He's not too bad. It's just that, like, if you do, it's, it's only a matter of, like, if you do have a full meta team, he's not ideal to get. Uh, but if you have a team like myself or, uh, people who haven't really played the game that much, they have, like, very generic teams, uh, nowadays. Uh, Vidal's worth picking up, man. He's really cheap. He's a, he's an affordable card. You can't really go wrong with him. The only thing I didn't, didn't like about it was the agility and balance, which was noticeable in game, but it wasn't, like, drastically noticeable. But it would be more drastically noticed had my gameplay have been bad, right? So, just wanted to point that out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. You guys are awesome. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.